Key West, like the other Florida Keys, began as a coral forest under the seawater. Marine life was its only population. As the polar ice caps reformed and the sea level dropped, terrestrial plant and animal life found its way. Soil was formed by decaying organic matter and storm actions. For millenniums, the ocean continued to drop and the ocean currents, wind currents, birds, and other things began to propagate the islands. Eventually, human life forms also found their way. These trillions of cells of life form, along with the forces of nature, produced an island called Cayo Heso by early Spanish travelers. We're not really sure where the word key came from as a reference to an island. Most believe that it began by the Spanish adapting the word Cayo from the Tiano Indians of Hispaniola and Cuba referring to small islands. The Spanish normally used isla for island and islet for a small island. At least in the New World, they appear to use Cayo and Cayuelo for a very small island. The English use K, C A Y, or K A Y, such as K Sal Banks. K is pronounced by Americans as the letter K, but by Englishmen as the word key. The native Aborigines and subsequent native groups were the first settlers of Key West. The Europeans were tourists for the first 300-odd years of historic existence. Europeans stopped for fresh water on the islands, which stood as silent as the martyrs for which they were first named. The silence was broken occasionally by those seeking refuge from being shipwrecked to fish, to lumber, to salvage. Other than the Native Americans, apparently no one settled permanently until about the time Florida became a United States territory in 1821. The history of Key West is much like the rest of the Keys until 1821. Its natural deep water port was the deepest port between New Orleans and Norfolk, Virginia. Key West quickly became the economic center, was rapidly settled, and became Florida's largest populated city. It had professional residents, such as doctors, lawyers, insurance company representatives, politicians, military personnel, journalists, publishers, and most of whom by vocation made some written documentation. These documentations have made Key West history easier to be true history and not just a fable. Politically, Key West was Monroe County. In population alone, it overwhelmed all of the remaining keys for about a century and a half. From a historian's point of view, Key West is an interesting beginning. To be considered is the island's ownership as private property. Ownership by the territory of Florida, ownership by the U.S. government, and finally, as a local incorporated entity. John W. Simonton purchased the island on January 19, 1822 from Juan Pablo Salas, who had acquired it as a Spanish land grant in 1815 from Don Juan de Estrada. But as a new U.S. territory, the original Don Juan de Estrada land grant to Salas had to be confirmed. No U.S. deed could be granted. In reality, it went round and round with claims and counterclaims, and attempts to follow these just look like a spider web connecting one thing to another. John Simonton soon took on three northern partners, John Whitehead, John Fleming, and Pardon Green. On the scene arrived General John Geddes of Charleston, who'd also purchased Key West. It was actually discovered that John Juan Salas had sold it twice. First to John Strong, a lawyer no less, and then to Simonton. Simonton had already divided it amongst the three, Whitehead, Fleming, and Green. Green had made several strategic moves by buying up claims in his name, and on May 23, 1828, Congress acknowledged the land grant of Salas was confirmed and Simonton as the legal owner. We might surmise that this was Florida's first land scam, and as amazing as it legally appears, the territory of Florida, with an act of incorporation, incorporated the city of Key West, It was also incorporated a second time on November 28th of 1828 as a town. So Key West was incorporated twice, once as a city and once as a town. Location, location, location is the cry of any good businessman. 
And in 1825, the Federal Wrecking Act prescribed that all property wrecked in U.S. waters had to be taken to a U.S. port of entry. 1828 was a pivotal year for the Keys. In 1828, Key West was designated a port of entry. Key West grew from a desolated island into a bustling city within a few years. Congress acknowledged Simonton as the owner of Key West, and Key West incorporated twice. Congress created the Superior Court of the Southern District with admiralty power. Judge James Webb was its first judge, but his successor, William Marvin, will be the most remembered. He authored the Law of Wreck and Salvage, and later was Provisional Governor of Florida at the close of the Civil War. In 1832, Key West reverted to a charter-type city government. But it was today, January 8, 1828, that Key West was first incorporated as a city. And that's what happened today in Key West history. Today in Key West history is brought to you by 43 Keys Media to learn more about our glorious past here in the Florida Keys and even what's going on now in the Florida Keys, visit 43keys.com. You can get this program as well as others as an Alexa flash briefing. Just tell Alexa, play today in Key West history is my flash briefing. You can also see Today in Key West History and other shows on YouTube. Search for them and subscribe there. And in the meantime, visit 43keys.com. 